Hey YouTube, this is Lydia with my trying to conceive vlog video 10, cycle day is 12. I have a lot, of, lot to go over with you guys today. Um, so first things I want to go over was my salada. I did get it done on Tuesday, not Monday. Um, Monday, the lady that we were going to go with on Monday, she um, wanted me to do some herbs and stuff like that and injections. And supposedly it would help my hormones out and stuff like that. So I told her I didn't want to do that. All I went for was the salada. And my husband and I spoke to her and told her that we're not going to do it. So she basically told me, if you're not going to do what I want you to do, then I am not going to do the salada for you. You need to find somebody else to do it. So my husband and I, and I were like, okay, fine. We'll find somebody else. When we got home, we called another lady that we originally were going to go with uh, back in February uh, before his brother-in-law passed away, or before my brother-in-law passed away, but we didn't because I ended up going to Mexico. So um, she took me in right away. She said, okay, come, come right now, but I told her, no, it's kind of late in the day. Um, how about tomorrow? So she's like, okay. So we went on Monday, or on Tuesday. Um, we got there like, I want to say one o'clock, you know, the traffic was horrible and the GPS took us all over. So finally we got there and she did the salvada. It took her maybe 20 minutes to half an hour and it was painful. Um, basically she told me that my uterus was, I'm going to try to use a paper for this. Instead of my uterus being nice and flat and my ovaries... Like, this will be my uterus nice and flat. Well, you kind of get it. And then my ovaries being, like, pretty high. Uh, my ovaries were were still high, but they were, it was like this. It was, like, flipped and, like, leaning towards the right. So, she what she did, she went ahead and like flipped it back up, pushed it high up, and put it to be straight. So, um, my uterus is now, you know straight nice and high we're getting a lot of circulation down there um so which is great um she told me that when like this week no intercourse until next week but if i become fertile towards the end of the week um i can start having um start baby dancing so my husband and i both agreed that come sunday we're going to start baby dancing if anything um probably a little bit sooner than that probably saturday but Sunday for sure will be baby dancing. Um, so that way, if I do ovulate um, early next week, there's going to be an, uh, enough sperm there to uh, fertilize the egg. So what she did tell me is that I had to do is I had to go and buy this tea, or this stuff to make into to a tea. It's called Yevernis San Nicolas. Um, so this is just how it looks. It's, it smells really good. The only thing is, is it doesn't taste that good. Um, I don't know how strong I'm supposed to have it, so I just put like a you know a few pinches in the water, in boiling water. Can't let it boil more than ten minutes, and it has to be as hot as I can withstand it. So I have to drink that before breakfast, one cup before breakfast, one cup before dinner. And she recommended me to do some other herbs, but when I went to go look for this San Nicolas at um, my herbal shops the guy told me if you're trying to get pregnant this cycle or in the next three cycles either or um from here on in 90, 90 days not to do the last two things because she told me to do ruda and um ruda and romero um ruda she he said that it cleans out any inflammation that you have which i don't have thankfully she did she did check that and i don't have that so um that was just like if I get pregnant, it would put a hostile environment for the baby and I could abort the baby so I can have a miscarriage. But he did recommend um, red raspberry. Now, I haven't heard too much about this. I was researching it. It's a five milligram or 500 milligrams. I have to take it three times a day before breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner. So um, I haven't heard too much. I Googled it. I know Google. Um, I googled it, was doing some research, and I'm going to do some more research. But if you guys have heard anything about raspberry helping out, um, putting some nutrients into your uterus, 
please let me know. I really would appreciate that. And if anybody has used this San Nicolas Yevernis, um as well, please let me know because I've never used it. She said this is supposed to take the frio, um, the like coldest out of my body, which I don't really understand what it is. It's trying, I guess it's trying to make it like nice, warm, and cozy, uh, cozy for a baby. So that's how the Savada went. Let me check my time real quick. Okay, we're at 5 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and stop it because for some reason, once it gets past 6 minutes, it doesn't let me upload. So I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to start a part 2. So look out for part 2, okay?